Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. I would like to know one about early learnings in your career as a special forces uh, soldier. But if you could describe the operation, like one of your early operations, nothing like it. The first operation took in a part, you know, which cannot be brought into the you know mainstream. So I'll not be able to discuss. But apart from that, to be very honest, I've never had a full kind of contact, you know, wherein okay. we had the information, we went looking for somebody. I had fleeting moments. The fire came from somewhere, you replied back. It went on for 15-20 minutes. Nobody was hurt. Hmm. Neither on our side nor, nor on their side. Because I said, um, I've said in other platforms that in a jungle scenario, it will take you around 10 minutes to orient, you know, who is firing, whether it is your friendly fire or somebody because the most preferred weapon there is AK, Kalashnikov. So whether it's a Chinese AK or a Russian AK or a Bulgarian or a Romanian AK, the sound is the same when you hear. What's the difference? Uh, between the AKs? Yeah. So they're all licensed AKs only. So each country has small little modifications, but the basic work, working principle and the magazines are all the same. The metallurgy is different and uh, the accuracy is a bit different in the weapons. The public assumption uh -huh. because of maybe Counter-Strike, honestly, is that it's one of the best weapons out. It is. Okay. It is. Are there better guns than that? Again, it's you know relative. There are a few parameters on which you rate a gun or a rifle. The important ones could be accuracy, recoil, reliability, ease of handling. So, but if you see, when was it made, the weapon, AK, Kalashnikov, it was in 1947. I wouldn't say it was made in 47. I, I would say it, it came in, it was acknowledged or recognized in 47. So, AK-47, you know, hmm. automat automatic Kalashnikov, the, the man who made him, made it, and 47. The best part of an AK is a guy in class 3 can be taught how to disassemble it and reassemble it in 5 minutes. It's a simple, very, tool. very simple okay. weapon. And because of its simplicity or the working principle, it is very, very easy to handle it. In field condition, if something goes wrong, you can know what's gone wrong. And it does generally does not go wrong because the metallurgy is also very, very superior, the Russian metallurgy. Mm. And the working principle is so simple that you don't have stoppages. You don't have complications wherein the weapon is not firing or the firing pin is broken or there's gas fouling in the weapon or there's double feed. That does not happen. Like anything that goes wrong with other weapons often doesn't go wrong with this. Uh, so too many parts when they are put together, one small little glitch somewhere will put the complete system to rest. That does not happen with AK. Have you been in hand-to-hand -hand combat situations? I generally avoid hand-to-hand -hand because I'm scared of myself. Because when I get angry, I used to get angry. And when I would throw a punch on the Almira, steel Almira, I would see a dent. Not a big dent, but I would see a dent and I, won't, and I would feel nothing on my knuckles because of the conditioning that I had. So... I'm being very honest. I'm actually scared if there's a scuffle or an altercation. And if it graduates to a fight, I'm scared if I punch somebody, he might lose his life. So I don't want to get into an ugly situation. I generally avoid that. The last time I fought was in NDA. Uh, okay. But then... Fair. In operations has there... No, no, no. No? If you are getting into a situation wherein you are hand-to-hand, -hand, that means you are... You failed. Okay, because mm -hmm. of high efficiency in special forces. And when you have a weapon system that can throw a projectile from this place to somebody who's hiding or sitting at that place, why would you like to go and get, in, get into hand-to-hand -hand combat? Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you. And here's a link to the whole episode.